Welcome everyone, my name is Danny, this is TechRage, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the latest version of Showbox onto your Android devices. So for all those people who don't know what Showbox is, it is a movie and streaming application. Uh, basically it allows you to torrent these movies and shows onto your phone completely for free. You can also download these movies and shows onto your phone so you can have it for offline use. It's a pretty neat application. Uh, since the recent updates and for those who have used it in the past, uh, they have embedded a few other features such as news so you can get the latest news on any developing movies, uh, any anything you know within the uh, TV and movie spectrum. It'll all be there. You also have a trailer section where you will get the latest trailers on movies or shows that will be coming out as well as you have a favorite section so and I would definitely suggest this so where you can put some movies and shows into your uh, add it to your favorites list so that later on whenever the most recent uh, show episode comes out and is uploaded onto the Showbox app you will get notified about that so it's definitely useful uh, you also have a download section so it'll just show you a list of all your downloaded shows and movies as well as updates section which is the last section which will show you the latest movies and shows that they have uploaded onto the showbox app alright guys so just start this off uh, no, another key note and this is definitely something to remember showbox is a third-party application and the bet as is the benefit of Android is that you can install third party apps without the needing of rooting or jailbreaking if you're using iOS. Uh, you can simply install these onto your phone. Now, in order to first uh, allow this application to run, you have to uncheck the option, which is uh, known as unknown unknown source unknown sources and so I'm going to show you how to do that so what you'll have to do open this up here okay so I'm in my settings app within my phone now for those who have marshmallow and above you can simply do a search here type in unknown sources and there you go it'll be right there okay now you just to scroll all the way down and make sure that unknown sources is checked so this is a privacy setting so that any third-party applications can't be installed or launched onto your phone so now you have to give the application access so that it can do so now as we go into this and this is just for future reference uh, keep in mind this is a third-party application uh, there are some permissions which I have come across which honestly I have no idea why it needs it so uh, luckily for those who have marshmallow and above you can simply um, prevent them from having search, such permissions so I'll show you how to do that as well okay if you care for that uh, but it's a good thing to know so anyways so let's go about installing it first things first open up your web browser okay now I want you to go to the website apkmirror.com now this is a reliable source which I've used myself uh, you'll find the latest APKs right so the latest versions of any sort of app that's on the App Store will be here for the most part every uh, app will be here okay you'll find many apps here you see here play services whatsapp everything here so if you want to go to an older version of an application right you can download it from here um, now in terms of if it'll work that's another thing but yeah so go here okay now type in show box show then space in between then box click search and then you'll come across this page here so the latest version here and you can tell because the latest one the latest version was uh, October 10th which is uh, 2016 so that was just a day or two ago and version 4.73 so what you're gonna have to do is click the download button here next to it then lastly click download APK 
okay now you can do this straight from your phone it'll be a lot more easier that way because it'll download automatically onto your phone then after you did the unload then you after you check the unload unknown resources um, you, you can just simply kick it and then install but for those who are doing it on you know from their computer to their phone so you have to click download APK now it's downloading right now so after I do that all I have to do is just open up my file manager and then just drag it onto my phone but I would highly suggest that if you have your if you have your phone or if you're doing it I would suggest that you do it on your phone I'm sorry I'm getting sidetracked here so just do it directly on your phone it'd be way more easier okay without doing this extra step so drag and drop there you can download you can drag and drop it into your downloads folder and uh, yeah that'll be the end of it um, okay so it's that so after you launch it this is how it would look like now let me just open this okay so it's my beautiful home screen and there you go so this is the application it's very nice pretty smooth uh, yeah you know um, there have been a couple updates now I've come across an issue where whenever I try updating the application through the application uh, it would never really work it would it would always crash and then it would never properly update it so what I would suggest is that if it's not properly updating simply uninstall the recent version that you have on your phone and then uh, download the latest version from APK mirror as I just showed you okay so you see here you have movies section you have all your movies you can just scroll down you can search you can do filters here as well you have your shows here these are all the latest shows and movies that it has up here yeah it has a wide variety now you have your new section so you get like I said before you get the latest updates whether on trailers shows so that's definitely pretty useful trailers any recent trailers and movies and shows that are coming out uh, that's pretty awesome yeah and um, yeah guys that's uh, pretty much it now you download side so now let me show you how to use this real quick now if you haven't watched Luke Cage yet <laughs> FYI watch it it's awesome check it out uh, <laughs> okay so besides that okay so this is how it'll appear you can go through seasons by clicking here so since there's only one season you know I don't say one season but if there are more you it would be displayed in a list so you can click on the show okay now yes unfortunately there are ads you'll have an ad like this pop up all you have to do is click X and it's gone okay so now you can play by clicking here you can set you can change a couple of the options down here if you want subtitles you can do so here by requesting here right now I have it at none you have to log in to open subtitles.org uh, which is completely free by the way uh, you can set to which player you want to, to play these videos on so the Android player which I'm not really sure which exact player that is I guess that's the uh, showbox internal uh, media player all right but it looks like they also have VLC so I would highly suggest VLC plus it already has it there by default uh, if you guys don't know what that is it's another media player it's an open source media player which is also available for PCs Macs and Windows yeah go open source <laughs> yeah or you can also choose any other player if you want it to be more useful okay now like I said it, it is a torrent application so you see here you have the option to change between servers if one isn't working for you properly now I've noticed um, it really depends on what you're trying to stream so if it's a m certain movie and certain show uh, you'll have different options based on which server so I guess it depends on which one they have it downloaded on at the time so yeah and then last thing you can download and then watch now so right, guys that's pretty much it if you have any questions or concerns feel free to ask me and actually one last thing before I go let me just show you really quickly the permissions as I said before okay so let me go down here and let me open this up here okay so I'm going to type in P E R so right there 
app permissions okay I'm gonna click app permissions here now over here you have a list of which applications are accessing which permissions okay so I've come across and it was completely weird to me why was this app accessing my phone you know I, I'm always you know trying to make sure I can you know make sure I know what my apps are doing on my phone so you know that definitely is a concern and that's definitely something I would suggest you know to keep in mind of how to going about using your phone because you know with security and privacy nowadays being taken away little and little little by little you know with little uh, with every little update uh, not everything is reliable you know you can never really be too secure you can never you know really trust in, every, in anything as much and uh, just hey just a way of going about things you know especially with today's tech uh, that's just me speaking out of my ass <laughs> all right so I'm sorry about that now I was trying to come across where I can have my list of applications now I really can't come across at the moment but yeah so just type in app permissions there within the search bar then you'll come across that so one thing I noticed that it had access to my phone okay so I can go down here uh, was it phone? Yeah, yeah, right here. Yeah, this was checked. So I unchecked this. That's why it doesn't have access to it anymore. So you can uncheck that. Okay, and now it won't have access to it. And then just make sure when you go about um, installing it, it actually says which permissions it's going to access. So just be sure to remember which uh, permissions those were. Then go to those permissions under app permissions and simply uncheck it. Some things it doesn't need, like location permissions. Um, in one case, I thought about it needed. I don't. I thought that it would need it because, um, for for uh, you know, for directing you to which server would be more reliable, would be more faster. Uh, yeah, I'm not really quite sure. I had uh, unchecked it, and it seems to work just fine for me. There's no loading problems. I mean, in terms of streaming, it may take about a minute or two. Uh, what I would suggest is that you pause, let it load for a bit, and then go about playing it. But really, I had no issues, so you know you can uncheck that. Now, of course, it's going to need storage permissions because if in case you want to download those movies and shows, yeah, it's going to need that storage permission. Now, you can uncheck that if you're not gonna, if you think you're not going to download any movies and shows, so you can do that. Okay, and that's um, that's really it. Yeah, just go about that. Just a little thing. Um, Alright guys, so my name is Danny. This is Tech Rage. Uh, let me know if this helped you out. You know, feel free to leave any comments below if you have any questions or concerns. Um, yeah, if you want to know any other free resources to watch movies or shows, I have one or two other ones. I uh, can't really think off the top of my head, but yeah, I could definitely recommend a few. And um, yeah, guys, if there's any, is there anything that you can share? Any sort of information that you can share that can inform me as well as any other people, uh, feel free to do it in the comments because, you know, any knowledge that you can share and, you know, enlighten others, the more the better, right? All right, guys. So, my name is Annie. This is Tech Rage. And I will see you in the next video.